the quality of the wine is all um, packed into the vineyard and to the pick dates. And so the winemakers, that's their job to work with the vineyard managers to get the fruit into the winery at the specific time that they want the fruit in. All, all of all of the barrels you see behind me, like every single little mechanical thing that you can imagine that happens inside a winery or that most people probably don't imagine, um, is it's essentially quality control. So we, we take their vision and we make sure their vision can get produced into the bottle to make a great wine. We do a kind of a small level custom crush where we have um, our two winemakers have their own personal labels here and then we also make wines for Reeve wines and also for Claypool cellars and then Anaba is the large chunk of it it's about 35 percent of the wine here is Anaba and the rest is custom crush 6,000 cases all together we do uh, 250 tons of grapes so convert that into gallons. So basically one ton of grapes gets you 155 gallons if you're lucky. So if you're lucky, meaning depending on your, it depends your, on the yield of vintage, um, the, the, you know, the rains you had last winter, um, how much you press your grapes. If uh, we tend to press a little lighter here, so we don't want all the hard press that you get. So I'd say, we we are happy when we get 145 gallons per ton here so 145 times 250 that's what we produce here so we are definitely predominantly pinot noir um it's probably 80 percent of our production and we also do a lot of chardonnay so it's pinot noir chardonnay but anaba is also very famous for their rhone varieties and their rhone blends so we do uh what we call the turbine red uh that is a GSM blend, Grenache Syrah Mavedra. And we also do a Petite Syrah. Um, and then a couple Syrah vineyard designates. Other than that, uh, for some of our other clients, they make Sangiovese here really? and some oh. Cabernet and Merlot. We kind of run the gamut. We have, I think, a total of almost 30 different vineyards that we work with just in this small space with that small tonnage, which is actually pretty impressive, but also part of why the job here is so complex. Yeah. <laughs> but our Chardonnay is fantastic. Uh, uh, some of the best in Carneros that I've had. Uh, but uh, other than that, we most of our fruit comes from Sonoma Coast. And the Rhone varieties come from Sonoma Valley, Moon Mountain, Sonoma Mountain, just a, a touch of Russian River. One of the biggest problems that can happen in any winery is uh, Britannomyces or TCA and keeping that out of the winery is super important to us and what we do with our barrel program like keeps all of that out of the equation. Like uh, we go above and beyond to make sure all of our barrels are like perfectly taken care of. There are, there are, there are babies, they hold our wine. Right. Like that's what we want to take care of our wine and if you don't take care of your barrels so you don't have good wine they do things very differently in Australia but also that Margaret River area is an awesome little niche that is still kind of up and coming compared to the rest of the country the Barossa Valley and um, the eastern coast it was a much bigger winery we did about over a thousand tons um, we had a press that was on rails, like a train car. Really? Yeah. Wow. And you could move it underneath the tanks, so you could dig out the tanks in straight into the press. I learned a lot from working in uh, Australia, just from the more technical standpoint of things. And um, Jamie, my wife, worked in the lab the whole time, and I learned a lot from her. Even though she works in Napa, we both still have our hearts in Sonoma, actually. <laughs> so. We met at a winery, a Custom Crush winery in Santa Rosa, and uh, as interns, and fell in love at the end of our 2012 harvest. And uh, the, our boss, the production manager, ended up being the guy that married us. This 
whole industry just basically stole our hearts and we're loving the hell out of it. Right now.